Welcome back to another edition of the Pitch Putt and Puff Podcast. My name is Roger, a.k.a. RGB. Just want to take a quick second before we get rolling here and give a shout out to my sponsor, 420 Bliss, located at 740 Hoosick Road in Troy, New York. Um, you can find them up in the Walmart Plaza there. They got everything you're looking for, flowers, edibles, tinctures, vapes, you name it. They got it. Let them know the Pitch Putt and Puff crew sent you. Also, want to take a quick second and give a shout out to my man, Marty, uh, author of Trouble Off the Tee for the dope hat and a nice shirt. Um, Shout out to him for that and all the support he's been giving us at the Pitch, Putt, and Puff. But today we're getting back into the golf world. I'm uh, going to talk a little bit about putters. Uh, got my man Nick from Makefield Putters. Nick, how's it going, buddy? Welcome to the podcast. Doing well. Thanks for having me on, Roger. Absolutely, absolutely. So uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, how you got into golf and in, into the business? Sure, yeah. So I uh, am grew up and live in North Jersey. Um, I've been playing golf since high school, but, uh, predominantly baseball until I was in my late twenties, uh, started taking golf a little bit more seriously as I got into my thirties, um, was in corporate America for a decade and a half, uh, had an opportunity to join Makefield, uh, in the fall of 2022, um, was a great time for a career change for me. Uh, so I dove in head first and I've been working full time with, with Makefield ever since. Nice. Now, uh, what what exactly do you do with Makefield? So I'm I'm the director of brand development. Uh, but honestly, we're a we're a small team. We all wear multiple hats. We all do sales. We all do marketing. We do R and D, uh, club design. Uh, there really isn't anything, um, any one singular job for one of us. We right. we all do a little bit of everything. That's cool. Makes it easier that way too, because you know everybody's held accountable for what's going on. Um, so why don't you tell us a little bit about the putters and, and what it's all about. Cause I think I've, you know, I did some research on it and such, and it's a, it's a really cool, cool concept. Yeah. So our, our owner um, by trade is a, a, an engineer and a golf junkie. Um, he was watching YouTube videos during COVID. Uh, he has an adult autistic son who requires 24 hour uh, in-home care. So while he was home helping his wife with his son, he started watching YouTube videos on golf club technology and specifically putters, uh, realizing that the technology and the R&D put into putting was lagging severely behind the rest of the industry. Uh, so he was trying to develop a way to sort of implement the weighting technology you would see in a driver into a putter, make it adjustable make the weights movable for different swing paths, be able to not just affect the overall weight, but the balance uh, and developed our initial model, the, the Makefield VS, um, which has uh, basically the weight system is parallel to the ground in the center of the putter head. Okay. So as opposed to screwing weights in through the bottom and the heel or the toe, where yep. you can affect balance and toe hang and things like that. Uh, the weight system is fully adjustable throughout the entire putter head. Okay. And, and that's really what, what makes it very unique is that you can move the weights forward, backwards, left, right, uh, and really compensate for some nuances in most players' putting strokes. Okay. Yeah, because I was looking, I was like, oh, that's different. I thought it was just a, a design aspect of it when I first looked at it. But now that makes perfect sense. That's a great concept. Man. Yeah, so all, all of our putters have have weight channels. Uh, if you look at the back of them, there's screws along the back, uh, and th they basically look like little bullets. They're little slugs. That's exactly uh, three what it looks like, yeah, slug. Yep, exactly. Three different materials, three different weights. Uh, we have preset weight configurations based on our R&D and our testing, but really the combinations you could put in are endless based on what your putting stroke looks like. Mm -hmm. um, and we're, we're really finding that, uh, you know, there, there are standard configurations that sort of universally work. Uh, but players that are looking for a certain feel or have a certain miss, uh, they're really leaning into tinkering and moving the weights around and trying to find that exact balance that they want. Right, right. Because, I mean, you got a lot of people who don't know much about putters, and they just go out there with the one they had they found in the garage that their dad hasn't used in a while or something, and that's the one they stick with. Um, but, like, as like I've been playing golf for about six years now. This will be my sixth year, sixth or seventh year coming up. And... I did the same thing when I started. I grabbed my dad's old set, went out and just started playing, uh, figured it out when it, as I was going. And then I started trying different putters because I noticed like my buddies were actually like paying attention to what kind of putter they were using and shit like that. So I got, I started looking into it and I came, I came across a nice, uh, 
well, back then it was nice six years or, seven, or a long time ago, but a Nike uh, Ignite putter. And I just got the touch with it. And I, I don't mind it. I tried to switch over to um, a Spider, but I just felt like it was so much heavier than what I was accustomed to. Uh, I didn't mind the mallet look at all. It was just the, the weight of it was so much that I was so used to using the, you know, I felt like I was mini golfing with the blade putters and I was so used to that. That's what I stuck with. Yeah. So, so there's, <clears throat> you know, putting was probably the most intimate part of a player's game and a player's golf bag. Like you said, they get tied to a putter. They hang on to it for years or even decades. Yep. Um, and then other guys are the exact opposite, right? They'll, they'll trade out putters every couple of weeks uh, just, just because they, they don't know what works for them. Yeah. They'll have a good round then they'll have a bad round then it goes into a dark corner. They take something else out and they're, they're constantly switching back and forth. Um, so, you know, to go along with that technological gap in putting, yep. we also think that there's an educational gap too. Um, okay. Players don't actually understand uh, certain things like offset toe hang, uh, why they should be using a blade versus a mallet, uh, yep. straight back, straight through an arc stroke. Uh, and and you can go online and read 15 articles that explain the same thing, 15 different ways. And, um, you know, there's really no one universal method to the madness. Mm -hmm. uh, but the idea is that if you have something in your hands that you have confidence in, that you can return the face back to square every single time, you're going to make more putts. You're going to enjoy the game a lot more. Um, you're going to shoot lower scores. Yeah. You know, all, all that stuff kind of translates. Uh, so, you know, there, there's a science behind it and, and, there's an explanation to it. Yeah. Um, but there's also a lot of misperceptions and misconceptions among most amateurs about, you know, you have the, the blade truists that all they'll ever use is a blade. Yeah. And they maybe not necessarily can tell you why, but that's what their preference is. That's what they yeah. like using. That's what they've always, used. it might not even be the best putter for them. Um, so we, you know, one of the things that we, we try to stress is go get fit whether it's a make field, whether it's a spider, whatever it is, go somewhere, get fit for a putter. Mm -hmm. The same way you'll go drop a thousand bucks and smash driver for an hour and a half yeah. just so you can pick up six more yards, you know, yeah. do it for your putter. Do yeah, it, fi figu it, figure out the right hosel setting, figure out the length, the lie angle, all of those things. Yeah. Cause it's important. And Cause you don't realize like how many, so the course we play at is the greens are pretty tough. They're nice and firm. They roll fast. They roll, crazy like the reeds are very difficult a lot of hills it's a tough the course is easy until you get to the greens um so there's a lot of times like i forget where i was just going with this but there's a lot of times like you see guys missing a two-footer where other courses it's a straight gimme pick it up and let's keep it moving but there you got to putt that because of the breaks it's you're gonna miss it like my buddy bub great golfer until he gets to the green and he struggles at, at Freer Park. We go somewhere else. He puts lights out, and he's like, "Oh man, I shot an 82 today, or whatever." We go to Freer Park, and that's the same round is an 87, 88, because of, it comes down to the putts. And a lot of guys, like you said, go to the drive or go to the thing uh, simulator to get a new driver for five, six more yards. But you're really going to save the strokes with the with the putter in the short game. That's a yeah, great and, point. and you know, I, I can't tell you how many people have come to us to get fit or that we've spoken to. Uh, whether it be over the phone or or, or video chat or whatever, That's what I was they say, ask you know, you, how do you custom fit for somebody who's not within your area? Yeah, so so we we've done virtual fittings. Uh, one of the things we launched, we did a soft launch in the fall, and we went full blast uh, in January for the PGA show. We have what's called the Make Fit Home Fitting System. Okay. So for twenty bucks, you get to pick two putter heads, and you get to and you get four shafts. Uh, different hosel settings, different lie angles, different lengths. Mm -hmm. and you get to try it out for two weeks. And okay. within that two weeks, you can move the weights around. You can take it on the course, play a couple rounds with it, really do whatever you want. Uh, yeah. You have the opportunity to schedule a video chat with us to go over all of those settings and, and, and suggestions and things like that. And the purpose behind it is to empower the player and the customer to self-educate themselves to experiment, to figure out, right. How, how many players walk into golf galaxy or PGA tour superstore, they pick up two or three putters, they hit five putts, whichever one they make three or four out of five with, that's yep. when they take to the front counter. Yep. Uh, so the ability to have something in your house that you can practice in your basement with, or take to your home course and practice with, or actually we've had customers 
take the make fit home fitting kit to club champion or to their teaching pro oh, wow. and say, Hey, listen, walk me through this, mm-hmm. make sure I'm doing this the right way. So it, it, you know, it, it, and if you end up buying a putter, you get the 20 bucks off the, off the price of your putter. Yeah. Um, but you know, for, for the price of admission to be able to demo something for two weeks, yeah. um, it's, it's, it's a huge advantage, especially with putting because, uh, you get to try something with toe hang. You get to try face balance. You can try center shaft. You know, there, there's there's all kinds of options, and you can really compare one after the other after the other and figure out what you like, what fits best, what feels best, and uh, what you're most confident in. And the grips are there too. Yeah, there's a few different options for the grips as well. I see. Yeah, so so we have multiple grip options. Um, the Make Fit kits all come with our regular midsize pistol grip okay. uh, for the sake of of simplicity and comparison sure uh but we do have upgraded options for when you actually order um and that's something we could talk about too uh you know if you were to call and say hey listen i'm not really sure what grip to get uh well you know what grip are you using are you left hand low do you use the claw all those different types of things right um, we have different grips obviously for broomsticks counterbalance arm locks all that kind of stuff mm-hmm. so uh you know, we're, we're really trying to stress the the educational aspect to the player of, you know, know, know what's going in your bag in terms of your putter. Yeah. yeah. You know, the, the garage sale $40, you know, one that you scoop up as, as you're driving home one day. Like that's, yeah, there's guys that's out the there. That's I can, got right now. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly what I'm playing. Yep. And, yep. and there's guys that can putt with anything. Yeah. And then, you know, the, the, the honest truth is something that fits you better and weight and balance and all those other things you're you're going to putt better with it i mean right. the, the number one player in the world who'd use the blade almost his entire life switched to a mallet and yeah, he's, he's putting results. lights out look at the results so, right you know I, you know that that should force everyone else to to uh sort of look in their bag and say okay you know what what kind of adjustment can i make to it there yeah, because i mean i never even really thought because i never even really thought about the like weight of the weight balance like i always thought that you know like a mallet's obviously going to be heavier than a blade most of the time and, and so on and so forth but like that was the only weight i ever really thought of and then my other thing would always be like i like the little bit bulkier grip there i don't i'm terrible with the terms but um i always felt more comfortable with that opposed to just you know the regular broomstick grip or whatever and it took me it took me a while to get used to the putter I currently have, but I def I never just you're just making me think of things I never even thought of to be honest with you out there. And of course, being such yeah, a new, new golfer as well. Yeah, I, I mean, there's a there's a rabbit hole with putting that you can spiral down and almost never hit the bottom of it. Yeah. Um, you know, so so it, it's one of those things where you know you you can simplify it. You can figure out what's the weight that works best for me, length, lying, all those kind. Of, or, you, you know, you could really dive into, you know, what hosel pin do I need? Uh, what does the balance of the putter look like? Uh, what is my, what is my putting path? Uh, what weight allows me to get the face back to square at impact? But all these other yeah. crazy factors um, that a fitter would, would look at. Uh, but, you know, really, it's, it's part of uh, – uh, there's a – I don't want to say a stigma, but there, there is a perception – in the golf industry that you should putt with a blade or you should putt with this, or I want to use a plumber's neck or, uh, you know, all, all of the, uh, the traditional things that come into it. Now you see companies like us who have a movable weight system, Mm -hmm. you know, LA golf's doing their thing labs doing their thing. You're really seeing these, these nuanced technological aspects to putting. Uh, And, and I think it's, it's trending the industry in the right direction because it's forcing the player to, sort of second guess and question, well, have what I've been playing with my entire life. Is that really what, sh- what I should be playing should with? Fit, going forward? That's what I'm, that's literally what I'm thinking right now. Like who knows? Like the, I literally bought mine off of a buddy's buddy kind of thing. And I don't know if that club was fitted for him and all this other stuff as well. I'm six, two, I'm a six, three. Like that could be a big difference. That guy is five, eight, five, nine. If that was fitted for him, that could be a big factor. The way I'm hunched over different, all that stuff. But I never oh, thought I, of anything like that, you know? I just got absolutely. And, 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 you know, I, before I started working for Makefield, I, I was a golf junkie. I was on all the, the, the tech forums and, and reading club reviews and doing all that kind of stuff. And, yeah. uh, 
you know, now, now being immersed into it and it being my livelihood and trying to, to drive a business forward, um, I, I've learned more than I ever thought I possibly could about the subject. And I haven't even scratched the surface. I, I meet people on a weekly basis uh, that have devoted their lives to this. And I try to absorb as much as I can and, and you know, use the information they give me to, to improve what we're doing at Makefield. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it, it's interesting because uh, uh, putter fittings are one of those things where when you talk to people that do them, right? We have yeah. a network of fitters that are, that are really, really passionate about putter fittings. Um, and, and they'll say, you know, the people come in and get fit for 13 clubs and ignore the putter. Yeah. Yeah. You're um, absolutely right. That's crazy. That's absolutely. Because I mean, I've never been fitted for clubs personally, but I mean, I wouldn't even think about getting fitted for my putter though. I would grab the putters, the standard size putter they have there. And, All right. This is the one Like I would literally do exactly what you said earlier. Go over to the little putting surface. All right, I made four or five with this one. Let's let's see what this does when we get out there, kind of thing. But the fact yeah, that you and, guys let someone use it for two weeks to see if they even like it is that's awesome. Yeah, it, it was a it was a vision of our owner um, to to be able to get our product into customers' hands. We're you know we're not in, we're not in PGA Tour Superstore. Uh, we have a, a handful of fitters nationwide uh, that we're we're constantly trying to grow that network. Mm-hmm. But, you know, the, the the best way for us to, to reach the player is to drop something at their doorstep yeah. and say, hey, listen, you know, this we're supplying you with information about the technology. You have all of our sales reps at your disposal for the trial trial period. Uh, but we don't want you to hit five putts with it. We want you to hit 50 or 100 or 200 or whatever it's going to be over that time until you feel confident in what you're spending money on. Right. And, you know, he was, our owner, he was the driving force behind this and making sure it happened. And, and uh, we, we've gotten a great response to it. Um, it's, it's been um, s- steadily and slowly picking up and, and, and how many units we're moving. Uh, our conversion rate is incredibly high because of it. Um, we have, we had an article on my golf spy a couple of weeks ago, uh, reviewing the make fit kit. One of the, one of the writers ordered one, uh, and, and wrote a piece on it and, and really nice. broke it down. I mean, he, he, he did a fantastic job in being very fair in what we're doing. Um, okay. and, and that was really, really cool because the, you know, their reach and their, their forum is, is millions of players. Sure. Uh, so it's, it's, it's cool to watch it catch on and it's, it's really encouraging to, to hear players reaction to it. Yep. You were also in uh, what was it? PGA.com and SI.com did a little something. On yeah. So stuff. so after after we debuted the PGA show in 2022, we had an article uh, like the best of of the PGA show in Sports Illustrated. Uh, PGA.com wrote a piece on us. We were the the most innovative new te- club technology in in 2022. Uh, we've had some some regional. Uh, websites and 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 news publications write articles on us uh we have a an exclusive partnership with john mcginnis who's on sirius xm okay um so he he's been a huge supporter of ours he's been playing his make field for about two years now um so you know the, the people that we've reached we've gotten a really great reaction from where we're just sure. continually and consistently trying trying to reach more people uh because we have a lot of a lot of confidence in, in what our product is yeah, I seen um, the way I first seen it was um, your buddy there from what was it, Golf Jiu Jitsu? You said, yeah, or, yeah, yeah, Joe, uh, Joe. Yep, I couldn't think of his name. Thank you. Um, I seen him uh, post up the video when I first joined the network, and I seen it there, and I didn't really like. I said putters to me are just a putter, and then I looked at it. I was like, that's interesting, but like I I looked at it interesting because I like the bullet design. To be honest with you, I was like, oh, that's that looks cool as hell. And then uh, when I hooked up with Marty, he's like mentioned you. And then I was like, oh yeah, I remember these guys. And it clicked right away who you were. And I was like, oh, I got to get these guys on here to see what this is all about. So how long of a process is it to like uh, get one in my hands and and test one of these bad boys out? Because we're two weeks away from getting the season going, and I'm this sounds like a perfect plan for me right here because it's time for a new putter. It really is. Yeah, listen, you can go on makefieldputters.com. There's a tab right on the front. It says okay. order your make fit kit. Yeah. You get to pick your two putter heads. Uh, there's a section in there. It asks you what shaft length you want. 
Uh, there's a recommendation based on height, but obviously that's not required because sure. you know you're you're putting whatever you're comfortable with. Um, so you get that. You get to choose heel shaft or center shafted. Okay. And our turnaround time is 48 to 72 hours. Oh wow! So if you were to go on tonight, place an order, it'll be out the door the beginning of next week. Uh, your clock doesn't start ticking until it gets to your door. Okay. And then you've got two weeks to test it out. Call us, video chat, email us video or pictures, how, however you want to handle uh, the sorting out process of, of figuring out the specs and everything. Yeah. Uh, it comes with the preset weight diagrams. So if you're if you're tinkering, you've got all of our suggestions in there. If you want to heel weighted or toe weighted or make it heavier or lighter. Yeah. And, uh, you know, pretty, pretty the, simple to put together as well. Yeah. So all of our shafts are screwing just like a driver. Just okay. like you would, you would take a torque wrench, unscrew your driver head, pop it off. All of our shafts and hosel pins work the same way. So you're okay. swapping shafts out in a matter of seconds. Um, so you could even is, be which, out there and try, you know, front nine, you're using the one, you know, you got the two different uh, putter cut heads. You try the front nine, you use one, the back nine, you use the other. Especially if, you know, yep. people can't get out a lot to get the experience, the true experience of using it on the course. That's a way to break it down for somebody if they're out there for their weekend round. Yeah, for sure. I I was uh I was on the phone with one customer about three weeks ago. He played nine holes with each combination, mm -hmm. and that was nice. that was his way of going through it. And he he decided I'm going to try each one out. Which one feels the best? Which one sits the best? Which one can I line up the best? And uh and that's what he did. And he you know he took me through a hole by hole of of each one of his nine holes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh you know he he was invested in the process. And yeah. that's what we want to see. We we want to see our customers and our players going in and saying, okay, you know, I didn't know what lie angle was before this. Now I know, and I know what my mm -hmm. lie angle is. So if I need to get fit for something or I'm, I'm changing a shaft or I'm doing something, I know it. And, and uh, the response has been great for us because the the, the customers that are trying these out are, are really doing a deep dive into it. Right. Um, you know, well, I, I had a, a – Go ahead, go yeah, ahead, go ahead. No, I, I had a customer call last week and he was like, uh, so, so we send extra weights with all the kids. Okay. And he had moved the weights around so much. He had actually asked the question. He's like, Hey, there's like two combinations that I haven't tried yet. Like, do you think I can get a couple extra weights to try the other combination? Like he was exhausting his possibilities with the process, yeah, yeah. Uh, which was really, really cool to see on our end. Yeah. Yeah, because it's it's kind of tough for like a customer not to get so involved because you guys are so involved, so accessible for any questions, anything like that. So once they see how excited you are about the product, it's going to just make a customer more excited about a product, I believe anyway. Yeah, and 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 just the ability to test it, and and yeah. um, you know, it's one it's not one of those things where you're testing it and you're shipping back the stuff you're not using. You're testing it, and you're getting a fresh one right off the presses to your specs. Okay. And you can, you can keep the kit while your putter is being built. Oh, that's so, perfect. So you're not out so, of a so putter for a couple of days or whatever. When you're th there's home. no downtime. There's no going back to the one that's sitting in the corner of the garage. You get to the play, play with the one that you assembled mm -hmm. until, until you get your fresh one. Yeah. I mean, you really cannot beat that. A custom fit putter would, you get to test it out for a couple of weeks before. Like me personally, I mean, I play five, six days a week, um, depending on the time of year. So I would be out there. I would be trying every different model, every single way. I would, I'd mess all now that I know that it makes a difference. I would actually really try to see what fits me to to my specs for sure. Cause it's literally something I never even thought about, man, ever. I just go out there yeah, and put and, it. Yeah. And, and um, you know, we're, we're, we're trying to, to educate people on that. Uh, yep. I think there are, there are more putter companies out there trying to educate people on that and mm -hmm. i think it's a great thing because uh everybody wants to play better yeah. uh, one of the easiest ways to play better is to to putt better uh it's yep. one of the the most controllable aspects of your golf game and you know i think i think the industry as a whole when it comes to putting is is shifting in the in the right direction it is for sure because like the putting stroke is one of the most like that's one stroke you can keep consistent. I feel like opposed to you know your driver, you get a little crazy with the irons. You know, you start developing a slice or a hook or whatever the case may be, especially off the off the tee. Um, but the putter stroke is like I always feel like all right, I'm comfortable every time I get 
over a putt opposed to like sometimes you get up to the tee box and you're like i just this i'm not standing right something's not right whatever you get in your head a little bit or not too much when you're lining up a putt it's more you're thinking about the line not what your stroke's going to be because it's the same play every time but, yeah uh, you know and 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 if you think about it this way you can miss the fairway and still make birdie you can't make birdie if you miss a birdie putt that's it that's it so uh i'm nick man i really appreciate your time um this is dope. This is something I'm really going to um, look into for sure. I'm probably going to have you send me one of those kits just to test it out. Absolutely. We'll see for what sure. We got. Um, where can they find you? All right. So uh, makefieldputters.com. Okay. Uh, you can order your make fit kit through there. Uh, we have, we have three versions of putters on there. Uh, we have a, a stock putter, which is just Chrome shaft, standard grip, standard lie angle. We have fully customizable putters, uh, black shaft, upgraded grips, all that kind of stuff. And then we do carry and manufacture broomstick counterbalance and arm lock. So I, I believe we're, we're one of the few manufacturers that does have all three of those in, in different configurations. Cool. Um, so, you, you know, you can, you can go in, you can order them, you can test them out, uh, all that Instagram, Facebook at Makefield putters. Um, awesome. for sure. Awesome, man. I will definitely be checking this out. Um, I'm gonna, I know my buddy Bob who struggles with the putter. I'm gonna make sure he checks this out because this is something he definitely should be interested in. Uh, but Nick, truly appreciate your time, man. Uh, if anything, I can help you guys with down the road. If you got anything coming out you want to get on and promote, feel free to hit me up. I'm uh, happy to have you awesome. on. I can also, if you're looking to get out there a little bit more, I can reach out to some different podcasts in the network and uh, see what we can do for you on that end. Ah, that'd be awesome. I'd appreciate it. This was Absolutely. this was a lot of fun, and 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 thanks for having me on, Roger. Absolutely, man. Uh, everybody, go check them out. Make field putters. Once again, Nick, appreciate your time. Appreciate everybody tuning in. Take it easy.